After 15 years, I had accepted that this was what my life would always be. All that changed. A new work program has just been born. Gardening. What? Gardening. That's right, Dudley. Gardening. That's bollocks, sir. We're not bloody gardeners. We've been prisoners long enough, Colin. Let's be gardeners. Gina Woodhouse says it all comes down to what flowers you want to grow. Do you think you're pushing it a bit, putting spades and forks in the hands of murderers? And all over a pansy? A violet, sir. A double violet, actually. Mrs. Woodhouse, I was wondering if you might be so kind as to visit a garden that my husband's employees have planted. The woman didn't say anything about a prison, did she? What do you think of a garden made by murderers? Just one or two of them, ma'am. Who did what and to whom? Well, Mr. Briggs, you have quite a future. Daisies, tulips, bluebells, you are a disgrace to the prison system. <laughs> I wish to sponsor them in their first show garden. At Hampton Court. Now there's a photo op. Her Majesty's surrounded by murderers and such. A prisoner is all I thought I'd ever be. But then you discover that you can grow something that needs caring. I'm a gardener. Clive Owen of Croupier. Just because you come from a little prison garden doesn't mean to say you can't compete with the big boys. Academy Award nominee Helen Mirren. Oh, I like a bit of rough. And David Kelly of Waking Ned Divine. Not bad, eh? Anyone here who wants to come with me and make history at Hampton Court Palace, step forward. Green Fingers, a blooming comedy. Watch out for slugs and sooty mold. They can absolutely make life hell. Inspired by actual events. And you 